Okay guys, welcome back. So today on this video, we are talking about crypto.com and more specifically, I'm going to address a question that I've been getting a lot of requests for. And that is why when you try to withdraw money from crypto.com, it says insufficient balance when you clearly have a balance available. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's gonna be a really quick video, not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. And it's all handled here in the crypto.com app. It's this blue and white one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open my crypto.com app now. Now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com app. This is the home screen here. So if you watch my other video on how to withdraw money from crypto.com, a lot of people messaged me and said that they're still not able to because it keeps saying that they don't have a balance or I'm sorry, insufficient balance. And the most common reason that we've been able to figure out is because the money hasn't been transferred into fiat yet. So let me show you what I mean. First off, you do need to make sure you have a withdrawal bank set up. I'm not going to go over that in this video. I've already done another video that describes that in detail. So go back and watch that if you haven't attached a withdrawal bank yet, not a deposit, a withdrawal bank. Now, if you've already set up a withdrawal bank to your crypto.com app and you're still getting insufficient balance, let me show you what it looks like. So when you're going to withdraw funds, so it says I have $944 USD is my total balance here. But if I go to withdraw this money by clicking on transfer right here, and once you click transfer, you want to withdraw the money, which is going to be this button down here on the bottom right. And then if you're trying to withdraw the money into your bank account, you will be withdrawing fiat. So you wanna click on this green dot. Next, you wanna go ahead and choose your currency. I only have US dollars. Some people have multiple currencies, I guess, but I've only seen just one currency. I'm gonna click on US dollars. And next, this screen pops up. So there's a couple of things going on. First off, the minimum withdrawal for crypto.com, for some reason, I'm not sure why it is, but it has to be at least 100 US dollars. So if you're trying to withdraw 50 US dollars, it just won't happen. It won't allow you. The minimum withdrawal amount is $100. So even if you try to, withdraw $99. It's just not going to work. Two right here is going to show your withdraw bank account. If you don't have one, then you're going to want to follow that link called add bank account and link your withdraw bank. But I've already done both of those. As you can see, I have $946. I'm with trying to withdraw $100 right here, which is less than the 9046. But down here, if you look, it says insufficient balance. And the reason for that is because this balance up here is collectively how much you own in crypto and fiat together. So let's say that you made a lot of money on Dogecoin and you you want to withdraw some of the money or withdraw some of the funds, you need to sell your cryptocurrency into your fiat wallet first. And here's how you can check to see if you have funds in your fiat. Let me close this out. Okay, here we are again on the home screen. What you want to do is click on accounts down here on the bottom left. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. And then as you can see, your different wallets. So you have crypto earn, crypto wallet, and fiat wallet. Fiat wallet is the money that you can withdraw from your crypto.com app into your withdraw bank. So even though I have 946 Six dollars and seventy-one cents U.S. dollars as a balance. Most of that is tied up in crypto, so you cannot withdraw crypto into a fiat bank account. So, like Chase Bank account or Bank of America or something like that. So, what you need to do is you need to sell your crypto first into your fiat wallet. Then, once it's in your fiat wallet, then you can withdraw the money into your bank, which is kind of confusing, especially for a beginner like me. So, let me go ahead and kind of briefly go over that process with you. So, the fiat wallet, I only have twelve cents in there, so that's the only amount that I. Can withdraw into my Chase Bank account, which is what I use, which is does not meet the $100 threshold. So what I'll need to do is go into my crypto wallet. Let me click on there now. All right. Once you click on there, it's going to show the different cryptos that you currently hold. So as you can see, the only crypto that I have that's over the $100 minimum is going to be V Chain, Seller, Harmony, Crypto. You choose whichever whatever looks like in your wallet. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just click on Harmony. Okay. So now here I am in my Harmony wallet inside Crypto.com. So it says that I have approximately $331 worth of Harmony. But again, I can't transfer my Harmony cryptocurrency into my bank account, so I will need to sell that. So if you click on the sell button right here in the top middle. Okay, I went ahead and clicked on there. So now this is really important also. So if you're going to sell your cryptocurrency, you need to choose either sell it into a different crypto wallet, which is not what we're doing for this particular video. You need to choose fiat. So click on this top right. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you want to choose how much of that cryptocurrency you want to sell. So right here, it's going to tell me approximately what my proceeds will be. So if I sell all of my cryptocurrency in this wallet, all of my ONE crypto. So if you want to withdraw all of it, then that's fine. It automatically by default does that. But if you want to do less, then make sure that you change that amount. So for example, this one, I'll just type in 650. That's not enough because I only get 80 US dollars. So I'm going to need more than that. So I'll just do 900. So 900 of this crypto will give me proceeds of about $111, which would put me over the $100 
$100 threshold. And you need to make sure that the fiat button is black, not crypto, and that it's going to deposit to your fiat wallet. Also, be sure to watch out because sometimes it just changes on its own. As you can see, it went back to the maximum. So let me go ahead and change that back to 900. Okay, I changed it to 900 and then it's $111. So once you sell that, it's going to go into your fiat wallet. You do need to wait for it to process, supposedly. I'm not gonna sell this crypto because I like to leave it there. So let me close this out and let me go ahead and close out my ONE wallet. And then it brings me back here to my crypto wallet. So let me go ahead and close that down. So what'll happen is once you sell your crypto, then it will go into your fiat wallet. If I had sold that crypto, my fiat wallet would say $111. Then at that point, once it's in your fiat wallet, then you can go back to the home screen right here by clicking on this little home button. Once you've done that, your total balance is probably going to be similar, but it's going to be a different spread between your crypto balances and your fiat wallet. And then you'll just want to follow the same process. Click on transfer. And then once you click on transfer, click on withdraw and then click on fiat. And once you click on fiat, choose your currency. Once you've clicked on currency, then you should have the amount to withdraw of $100 or however much you did. If you cashed out everything, then it's probably going to be over 100, but you get to choose how much you'd like to put into your fiat. So there you have it, guys. If you are getting this error right here, insufficient balance, when you're trying to withdraw money from your crypto.com app, that seems to be the most common reason why you get insufficient balance there. If you had a different reason, it's showing up as insufficient balance. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.